what it's like when Steve's not here. Time just stands still. So this is the normal half inch uh, stringer material for the fuselage. And this is the leftover that you would normally make your tip braces with. And we'll do that. We're going to make the tip braces uh, for the same reason that we're going to put them here. Because this is where the fabric is going to come to the end before the uh, aluminum cover over the tank area. Um, and uh, to prevent this rib from being pulled in, which will cause a misalignment of all the holes that we will drill into this uh, cover here, we're going to add a brace or make a brace and put it in there um, just like you would these drag links or these uh, braces in the middle here. So I've already smashed one in and bent it to a 45. So we're going to go smash another one and bend that to a 45. So I'm leaving about a one inch tail on these. We can trim it later if we need to. Um, now what I did is as I come down over the top, um, the spar is sitting, um, at, make that about a 45 degree. So I drew that line to make an X between this line and the line of the material. And that's where it covers at the spar where it'll start to do its uh, 45 degree bend. Um, and then we'll cut about an inch further than that. So. Here's our trusty uh, bandsaw, which we'll probably talk about more. It'd be more ideal if we had flat jaws. Let's make some flat jaws. If you have normal smooth jaws, you don't need to do this. Do you, you got the top angle? Yeah, there we go. Thank you. Okay, got some pressure on there. And just kind of checking to make sure this is um, straight. But it kind of give you the idea of where 45 is. So from here, we'll just finish those off with a hammer here. Let's go take a look. So it looks like I cut it slightly long. So what I'll do is I'll just bend these up just a little bit more and just adjust them till it works. I'll get a pair of pliers a little stronger. This comes into there and there. Alrighty, one little final adjustment there. All right, and there it mounts pretty good. We pretty much perpendicular to the other brace that's there. And now we'll uh, prepare those areas uh, for high saw. So here I've got uh, another piece that we're gonna be making the wing tip braces uh, for. Cool. Trying to poke you in the eye. <laughs> They're going to be bent some. I don't know how much, so we'll just put in a little bit. Back to the plane. I'm going to do one at a time. Since these ones are going to be overlapping each other, I'll just do put one in and then have the other one. Make sure there's clearance to fit the second one in. Your nails are so much cleaner than mine. Uh, yeah. Still have my Christmas nails. Nice. Me too. <laughs> Alrighty. Let's clean. Oops. <laughs> my bad. I'll drill this on the drill press and then come back and use those as guides to drill through the wood and go from there. All right, these are drilled. Got the holes in them now. And that will work there. And we're working off the aft rib or spar. There we are. Yeah, it looks good. Alrighty. There will be came in for the other direction. So when I do set it, that'll work. Okay. Mm -hmm. So now I'll work on the next one. And so that one's gonna come off. These are marks that Steve has already put in here. Uh, again, uh, where he wanted them. And so that one's gonna go there. 
So that's going to make it a different uh, position on the rivets. They're going to have to be more towards the bottom there. And this one, probably out here somewhere. Uh-oh. You did a Sharpie? Yeah, Steve took it. Oh, no. Oh, <gasps> Steve. Oh, here's one. And we'll go cut that. Again, I don't know what that angle is going to finally be at because it's coming around the existing tube. So we'll just kind of bend it right now. All right, pretty close. We are there. Yeah, it looks good. Yeah, cool. So what I want to make sure here is it looks like it would work fine, but can I get a rivet gun in there? It's because I don't want to make that mistake and then not be able to fit it. We've got a different rivet gun. Let me try that one. Yeah, that'll work. This is Steve's old trusty rivet gun. <laughs> Pop rivet PRG 430, pretty awesome. I don't know if they make this anymore, but it's pretty cool. I think Steve got it on his first birthday in his stocking from Santa. <laughs> his first birthday. That might not be true. Why is Steve's drill press on the floor? This is a bench top drill press, right? I know. But Steve is part leprechaun. And so he uses this to, all of his tools are on the ground. There's, a, there's his chop saw on the ground. It's worked for him all these years. Does it drive me crazy? I'm not gonna say that, exactly. <laughs> well, it looks like there's no room on the bench. There is no room on the bench, that is true. Now this is gonna sit, these holes are gonna sit so high on the wood that I think it would be advantageous to put a backing of aluminum on it as well to help the strength. Mm -hmm. All right, let's get a little piece of aluminum. Okay. All right. I'm gonna label which direction this goes. Also use one side of the one side of the sandpaper for the wood and the other side for the aluminum so they don't cross contaminate. That's more of a wel for a welding thing, but they say not to do that as well. That is the wood side. Yep. Those are already made for both sides, so we're good to go there. Um, do you want to say hi to anybody on YouTube? <laughs> You're on YouTube right now. Oh, I'm not either. <laughs> you are. Yep. <laughs> what are you doing right now? We're, we're out here in the desert in Arizona looking for crystals. Looking for crystals. Awesome. Oh. Awesome. There's a lot of folks out there that do that. But you could... Are, are, you, are you all on there? Hi, Mom. Oh, look at all that. <laughs> yeah, isn't that cool? That is cool. And Oh. Okay, call me. Call anytime. Bye. Bye, Sarah. Bye. 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 Okay, so we will go ahead and go with those backing plates then. All right. Um, got the approval. Yeah, I got the approval. And uh, of course, I already lost the other. Oh, that's that one. Where's the other one? I already lost it. It's with the Sharpie somewhere. Yeah. Okay, we got the high saw mixed up. Anybody who's out there that does, it, does this knows not to use the high saw, not to use your Clicos after you've high sawed it because that can be a disaster. Rivet gun. All right, so everything is prepped. Uh, both surfaces are prepped. It's high sawed. Now it's ready to rivet. We have longer rivets over here and a backing plate and um, regular, I'm just gonna say regular. I think they're 44s there and I think we're running 48s here. I think is what they're gonna do. And so, 
because of the backing plate, I don't have to send this rivet the opposite direction. And I don't think there's any reason it needs to go that way. I'm gonna tighten that one up a little bit and then move over to this one and then bring this one all the way. So it helps squeeze out any excess uh, high saw. There it is. Okay, so this is gonna be 48. Did I drill? Oh, I didn't need a backing plate for that one. I can use a 44. Oh. Okay, so that is 48. Now, these are gonna pop from the other side. We want the flange to be touching the wood because on the top one, we don't have a backing plate, only on the bottom ones where the web is smaller. There we go. There it is. Just didn't want to go to its home. All right, get there. And one more 44. And so these are all riveted, high sold, riveted and high sold. Um, brace in the back, brace in the back. Um, riveted and high sold, riveted and high sold. Prepped before that, all that. So now this rib is super solid. It doesn't flex at all between four, sp four, four spots, one, two, three, four. So when, this, when the uh, fabric goes over, it shouldn't move much at all, or hopefully. So we'll do the same thing over inboard and uh, go from there. So for um, this and a bunch of other, like actually the really cool stuff that Steve's gonna be doing um, and other trick stuff, go to Patreon. It's patreon.com slash Steve Henry, if I'm not mistaken. Is that right, Sarah? Yep, that's All it. All right, cool. Go check that out. We'll be putting a bunch of more stuff on there that, we're, that are in the works right now. So, awesome, cool. And yeah, we'll go over that and do the same thing here.